Well, Laura is asleep. You know, fairy tales won't do it anymore. It's Greek mythology <laughs> or nothing. You know, we better find a bakery that does baklava. She's going to lapse into culture shock. It's very strange being back. I mean, it's, it's good. Oh. It was the most glorious vacation I have ever had in my life. Really, the magic kind. Now, wherever we go, there's magic. Let's prove it. Let's, let's run away tonight somewhere cold where we can huddle together for body warmth. <laughs> Look at this. What? You have work. You have work to do. Work? Oh, and mail. Oh, you know what I want? I want a graceful, whitewashed windmill. You know, that someone would make over into a beautiful little cottage just big enough for us. Us meaning you, me, Laura, Stuart, Scott, Cindy. Yeah. I love being together with all of us, but no, I mean us. Us. You, me, and Laura. Hmm. It's obviously not just a bill. Baby boy, look at They all that. look like Winston Churchill at first, don't they? Oh, they don't. They're all gorgeous. Oh, she's well, and she says the baby is well. Oh, I can't wait to look at this little guy. I can't wait to see them. We may have an announcement of our own before too long. Don't jump the gun, okay? I'm not jumping the gun. Everything was absolutely perfect. The Aegean, so blue, it was almost purple. The sunlight reflecting off those white walls, a sense of history, so resonant you could almost touch eternity. You ever thought about writing travel brochures? And, and the cabin at sea, the things that went on in that room? Hmm, I think we got it right this time now. Whether we did or not, whether I'm pregnant or not, it was the best month of my life. Hey, look who's back. Oh, my gosh, how are you? How was it? <laughs> it was great. <laughs> Listen, I'm, I would love to talk to you. Aunt Phoebe's waiting for me. <laughs> Fine, you run along. We okay. have a lot to talk about. Yes, okay. Well, it's nice to see you. Good to see you. Oh, we have 17 hours of videotape, I'm sure you want to watch. Well, I can't wait to see them. <laughs> okay, bye-bye. Was it great? It was great. So happy for you. I know you are. Part of me can't help feeling just a little bit jealous, though. Oh. No, don't feel bad. That's just natural human nature. But you have a wonderful little boy. I know. And I think he's terrific. And Stuart and Scott are the best thing that ever happened to me. They both love you very much. They love each other a lot, too. You should see them together. Stuart's just such a wonderful father. I wish I could give him a child of his own. He thinks of Scott as his own. You're right. <laughs> oh, isn't that typical? What? Well, just never satisfied. No, he look at me. I, I have this wonderful family and friends and my husband and son and there are people who are all alone in the world. I'm very blessed. I think a lot of us are blessed. It's just that we, uh, we forget sometimes. Not all the babies that are born to mothers with AIDS have it, but it's just too big a risk for me. I couldn't take that chance. I mean, some of the little babies go so quickly, it's really awful. <laughs> I'm very sorry. No, I'm sorry. I should be concentrating on the family that I have. <laughs> you and Adam are going to have to put up with me fussing over that little baby and... And Stuart and I will babysit whenever you want. We're going to hold you to that. <laughs> and I hope that if we do have this child, whether it's a, a he or a she, he gets to know what a wonderful, special aunt he has. Please. Because <laughs> you are the most loving, 
sensitive, unselfish person that I have ever known. No, St. Cindy has a nice ring to it. I have an awfully wonderful sister-in-law. <laughs> This is terrible. <laughs> I don't mean to keep you. I know you were on your way to Angie's. Um, <laughs> listen, how is the... Um, how is the treatment going? Oh, well, I just really don't feel any change. That's why I'm going to go see her. I'm sure it will take a while, you know, to have some effect. But I'm sure it's, it's, it's going to help before too long. Sure. And I appreciate your coming oh, by and helping me. Yeah, I, I really enjoyed it. <laughs> All right. Thanks. Bye. I'll see you soon. Uh, problems? I need a hug. Well, that happens to be a specialty of mine. What's this? Oh, I just sometimes forget that life isn't always fair. None of us want to face up to Cindy's illness. You know, I know that Angie is doing everything that she can for her. It's just that she seems very vulnerable mm -hmm. right now. She's kept up a strong front for so long. Stuart, too. The saddest part is, is seeing her getting weaker. I mean, she's so frail. I don't want her to suffer. We have to be strong. Hmm? For her sake? For Stuart's? For that little boy of theirs? I'm getting a little worried about you, my lady. Oh, I'm all right. Mm. You've been awful weepy, weepy lately. Don't tell me it's my imagination. What is there something else that's bothering you? You sure? Well, there's something, yeah. I thought so. What, what is it? It's good, it's good, so don't worry. I think I might be pregnant. <laughs> uh, well, what do you think? Well... You know, I mean, you're right. I have been more emotional lately, and I remember... Well, it's it's normal, but I remember when I was pregnant with Laura. I mean, I, my emotions were up and down like a roller coaster. Why didn't you tell me this? Because I, well, I haven't been to the doctor yet. <laughs> do you have any idea how much this means to me? Oh, yes, I think I do. A son oh. or a daughter. A brand new human being with the best of both of us. Or the worst. <laughs> oh, no, no, I won't allow it. But anyway, we're perfect. Oh, I'm so silly. I almost forgot. Oh, come here, you. No. <laughs> I'm going to tell you a secret. What? There's not a woman alive who is loved as much as you. I want you to remember that. 